It gets a little bit harder around the holidays because we miss him a lot and that's another empty chair that's not there. Um, so just being able to talk about it and share memories of him really helped. On July 6, 2011, Amanda Cook lost her husband. U.S. Marine Sergeant Trevor Cook was killed in a helicopter training accident at Camp Pendleton. This is video from that day. The two had been married for just seven weeks. I was very depressed and it was very difficult at that time. A lot of calling friends at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and just having them. kind of talk me down and tell me it was okay. After months of isolation, Cook had an epiphany. I just realized, like, what am I doing? Like, he wouldn't want me to be like this. He wouldn't want me to be wasting my life away. While counselors agree there's no right or wrong way to celebrate the holidays after loss from death, divorce, or separation, there are ways to ease the pain. According to Jennifer Cecil, therapist at Christian Counseling Services of Phoenix, anyone struggling should first acknowledge the loss. Don't try to hide the sadness. Ask for support. When you're honest with people, they will offer help. Pace yourself. It's okay to not participate in all the traditions that you did before. Develop a plan B. If it's too hard to participate in normal traditions, do something else that will be relaxing. Don't overindulge in alcohol or carbs. This will only make you feel more miserable. Get some exercise. And finally, tell yourself the truth. It will get easier. You will not always be in this much pain. Amanda eventually reached out to a counselor, friends, and other wives who went through what she had. Just being able to express and talk about him and what had happened to him and what had happened to me was a lot. It meant a lot to just be able to get it off my chest. With time, she gained a new perspective of life and the world around her. And I wake up every morning and if I had a bad day the day before, it's okay, let's start over. Let's, let's go again. And I try to make him proud of me every day. In Chandler, I'm Kim Quintero for Arizona's Family.